In this video, we will do an exam review on lipolysis, emulsification, and missile formation. Let's first, a few exam questions. Question number one Where does the lipolysis, emulsification, and missile formation occur? Number two Where does the chylomicron formation occur? Number three What's the function of brush border? Willis epithelial cells. Number four, what's the difference in long chain fatty acid absorption than the other fatty acid absorption? And number five, how fats are absorbed into the enterocytes? Now let's do the lipolysis, emulsification, and missile formation. Lipids are water insoluble substances. Lipolysis, emulsification, and the missile formation are the processes in which long chain fatty acids are broken down into tiny small pieces and water insoluble lipids become water soluble to be absorbed into the intestinal cells. There are three phases of dietary lipid digestion intraliminal or the digestive phase, where lipolysis, mucosa or absorptive phase where missile action occur and number three delivery or post absorptive phase. We'll discuss the first two phases intraluminal and mucosal phase of the digestion. Abnormality in any of the three causes is tetoria. Fat absorption is greatest in the proximal small intestine and limited in the distal small intestine. More than 90% of dietary fats are long chain fatty acids. To be absorbed, only long chain fatty acids require lipolysis and missile formation. Number five, short chain and medium chain fatty acids are absorbed directly from the enterocytes into the portal vein on the way to liver. Number six, for the absorption of long chain fatty acids, three processes that occur in the intestinal lumen are lipolysis, emulsification, and missile formation. Now lipolysis. Lipolysis is starts in the mouth and stomach by mastication and gastric contraction. So lipids are broken into smaller pieces. Then number two in the stomach, 20 to 30 percent lipolysis occurs by the gastric lipases which are secreted by the chief cell and the lipids are converted to free fatty acids, monoglycerides and glycerol. Sources of lipase are the lingual lipase, salivary gland, gastric lipase and the pancreatic lipase. Gastric lipase is important for the fat digestion in infants, pancreatic insufficiency and in cystic fibrosis. Main is the pancreatic lipase for the intestinal lipolysis and emulsification. What substances are responsible for emulsification of fat in the intestine? bile salts and number two enzyme pancreatic lipase now in the small intestine fats in the small intestine are emulsified by bile salts and lipase to 200 to 400 nanometer size particles cholecystokinin pancreozymin cckpz causes gallbladder contraction to release bile and stimulates pancreas to release lipase. Number two, pancreatic lipase in the duodenum and jejunum acts on the emulsified fats and hydrolyzes triglycerides to form free fatty acids and monoglycerides. Two monoglycerides are broken into fatty acids and glycerol. So finally, triglycerides are converted to three fatty acids and glycerol. Pancreatic lipolysis is enhanced by another pancreatic enzyme, colipase or colipase. And number three, bile salts in the intestine form missiles, 3 to 10 nanometer in size particle. So earlier by the action of bile salts and lipase, the particles were broken down to 200 and 400 nanometer in size. When bile salts again on in the intestine to form the missile, it breaks the particle to 3 to 10 nanometer in size. Now, missile formation, function, and abnormalities. Intestinal mucosa cannot absorb triglycerides, so they are broken into fatty acids and glycerol. Tiny little products of lipolysis are water insoluble and must traverse the stagnant water layer, unstirred water layer in the intestine to become water soluble to reach and enter the intestinal microvilli. 
bile salts combine with lipids to form micelles, water soluble substances which help lipids to be absorbed. So what happens at the cell surface? At the cell surface, fatty acids diffuse out of the micelles and enter enterocytes by passive diffusion. Micelles and bile salts diffuse back into the intestinal lumen to form new micelles. So at the cell surface, fatty acids diffuse out of the micelles and micelle and bile salts diffuse back into the intestinal lumen and bile salts also absorb into the portal vein. Now missile function reduce the surface tension, increase surface area. Number three, solubilize, emulsifies and transport fat for digestion and absorption to the intestinal mucosal cells. Number four, missiles move down the concentration gradient through the unstirred water layer to the brush border cells of the intestine. What causes missile function alteration? Increased thickness of unstirred water that occur in bacterial overgrowth and in scleroderma causes alteration in missile function. What's the effect of pancreatic insufficiency and increased acids on muscles? Bicarbonate deficiency in pancreatic insufficiency causes increased acidity in the duodenum that decreases muscle formation. And number two, acid also inhibits pancreatic lipase and precipitates it so it can cause esteatoria as occurs in ZES, zollinger ellison syndrome. It's a gastrinoma in which there is excess acid productions from the stomach due to increased secretion of gastrin. Why is esteatoria late manifestation of the pancreatic insufficiency? Normal lipolysis can be maintained by only 5% of pancreatic lipase secretion. So esteatoria is a late manifestation of the disorder. Now causes of impaired lipolysis, emulsification and missile formation. Number one, increased thickness of unstirred water layer as occur in bacterial overgrowth and scleroderma. Number two, impaired lipid absorption. Example is celiac sprue where there is mucosal inflammation and thickening. Number three, intestinal resection that decreases the space for reabsorption and digestion. Number four, decreased duodenal pH can lead to alteration in lipolysis. As I already explained, gastrinoma and islet cell adenoma. Acid inactivation, a chronic lipase deficiency leads to decrease intraduodenal pH also causes esteatoria. So that leads to reduced activity of lipase and bicarbonate. And number six, impaired lipolysis in cystic fibrosis also causes esteatoria. Now summary of the lipolysis missile formation in the intestinal lumen. Lipolysis plus emulsification that is starts in the mouth and stomach and continues in the stomach and intestine. Then in the intestine lipase and bile act on the lipids and micelle formation and movement through the unstirred water layer to the brush border cells of the intestine, the enterocytes, then fatty acid release, uptake and entry into the cells, bile and micelle move back into the lumen. Now answers to the questions. Question number one, where does lipolysis, emulsification and micelle formation occur? All these three processes, lipolysis, emulsification and micelle formation occur in the intestinal lumen. Number two, where does chylomicron formation occurs? Chylomicron formation occurs in the cell. Question number three, what's the function of brush border villus epithelial cells? Answer is digestive enzymes are present primarily in the brush border cells of the small intestine. Question number four, what's the difference in long chain fatty acid absorption compared to the other fatty acids like medium and short chain fatty acids? The answer is Lipolysis, emulsification and missile formation are necessary 
for long chain fatty acids to be absorbed into the enterocytes, whereas medium chain and small chain fatty acids are directly absorbed into the enterocytes and do not require lipolysis, emulsification, and micelle formation. And question number five. How does fats are absorbed into enterocytes? At the cell surface, fatty acids diffuse out of the micelles and enter enterocytes by passive diffusion. 